Hello, and welcome to an EDB special report on the Paliac Module 2 mission to the Moon and the Dion mission to Jupiter. Here we see a simulated view of the Paliac Module 2 making its second burn at its periapsis around the Earth. Initial plans indicated that there would only be two burns in order to make the translunar injection for this module. However, it was ultimately decided to make three burns, splitting the second burn up as it was extremely long, and conducting two separate burns with the SS engine was considered a safer option in terms of making sure that it hit its trajectory. So here is the, the third burn for the, for the module, and that was the conclusion of that burn, according to simulated data. Here we see the module at relatively low altitude over the Pacific, however its apoapsis has already extended to the orbit of the moon, and we see that it ultimately gets out to a fairly decent height over South America there. At this point the SS booster module is nearly out of fuel, it uh, however still had to make a couple of adjustment burns along the way in order to make sure that the module hit the moon at the proper altitude. Right now, upon uh, leaving the near vicinity of the Earth, the module is still targeting a very high altitude over the moon. We see it getting ready for its primary inclination change here with respect to the moon. Its, its initial inclination was somewhat off from the inclination of the moon, and so it did have to make this adjustment in order to get close to it. And here's the burn. Just a reminder, this module is designed to convert cathane into methane and liquid oxygen. It itself uses monomethylhydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. Here it is in the vicinity of the moon, and you can see it's the moon's dark shadow there. And it lights the Estes engine and begins to make orbit around the moon. You can see that it is still within line of sight of Earth. That was necessary because there are no communication satellites in lunar orbit that could help. There the Estes booster separates after expending its last remaining fuel and the module's own one kilonewton rockets make multiple burns in order to ensure that it gets into orbit prior to losing contact with Earth. The next launch by the EDB is meant to launch satellites around the moon and so that will facilitate communications to allow better maneuvers instead of relying on line of sight with Earth. The burn for orbit was quite extended and then once it completed that it crossed over to the other side of the moon and made an inclination change and you can see here it matching inclinations with the Paliac fuel depot. So now it has inclinations matched with Paliac fuel depot its orbit is at this point at 15,121 kilometers by 320 kilometers, so a high orbit, highly eccentric orbit, and it will keep that orbit until satellites are deployed around the moon. Next up, we turn to the Dion interplanetary probe. The Dion, of course, is bound for Jupiter. However, it is using an ion thruster in order to boost its orbit gradually in order to meet the giant planet. Here we see it making its final burn around Earth periapsis, and after this burn, it will be on an escape trajectory away from the Earth. This burn was not sufficient to boost its orbit all the way to Jupiter. It will, in fact, make multiple burns in interplanetary space in order to meet up with its target. And so here we see images of the Dion probe departing the vicinity of the Earth. As mentioned, the next planned mission for the EDB will be a launch of four satellites into lunar orbit. However, that launch is not yet scheduled because the Kerbals have discovered something called Christmas Vacation. And even though they don't seem to have family to spend their time with, they nevertheless decided to partake in this human ritual. Bob said something about spending time with his clones. Not too sure about what that means. However, anyway, the EDB uh, will bid you now uh, a Happy New Year's. And uh, we will sign off for 2014 and see you again in 2015. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the broadcast and see you next time.